The recording is in process. Progress. All right, so. What is the mass? So we're looking for mass of 0.5 moles of carbon tetrafluoride. And they actually give you the chemical formula. When we see mass, what do we have to figure out before we can do anything else? The periodic mass? We need a periodic table, that's right. We need to figure out the molar mass. Molar mass. So we have carbon here. And we have fluorine here. One. 19.0. So carbon is 1 times 12.01. I don't want to wake up here. And fluorine. Four fluorines here. What's the mass of fluorine? Okay. Uh, 19. 19.0. Does everybody know where I'm getting those numbers from? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so we have 12.01 here. What's 19 times 4? Somebody put that in the calculator. 76. That sounds right. All right, so now what do we do with those two numbers? You add them. Oh, you multiply it. No, you add them. We add them. So that comes out to be 88.01. Units for that is grams is equal to one mole. I'm running out of room. All right. All right so... Did we put that 88.01 in the first line, or did we put it on five moles in the first line? Which one do we put over one? The one, 88.01 over one mole. The number that's in the question itself gets put over one. So 0 0.5 moles. We have moles on the top. What do we put on the bottom of the next one? Moles. Well, what number goes with moles? 0.5. We've already used 0.5. We don't want to use that again. I'm talking about the conversion factor now. One. One. One goes oh. with moles. If we're going to grams, we figured out the molar mass already. So what are we going to put on top? 88.01. 88.01. So we're going to take 0.5 times 88.01. Moles cancel out, and so after we multiply that, what do we get? 44.005. That sounds right. Yes. I'm going to get for a second. That's your final answer. Everybody understand that? Anybody have issues, or are we okay? I got 44.03. Does that matter? I think it's close enough. Okay. I'm guessing that you clicked the wrong number or something. I'm guessing you put it in a six rather than a one when you typed it in. All right, so let's go to the next question. Question two. A chemist needs three moles of aluminum oxide. May I give you the chemical formula for aluminum oxide? Three moles of this stuff. How many grams? You see grams or mass, and that tells you you need to do what? Um, uh, you see grams or mass, what do you need to figure out? Mass? Nope. Molar mass. There's aluminum. Here's oxygen. We need to add those together. We have two aluminums and three oxygens. So aluminum is, does that say 26.98? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 26.98. Because my thing is fuzzy. And then oxygen is 16.0. We have to multiply that out and add them together. So what's 26.98 times 2? 53.96. That sounds right. And then what's 3 times 16? 48. 48 sounds good. What are we going to do to those two? Add them. Add them together. 16. So what does that come out to be? One hundred and one point nine six. That sounds right. 
grams is equal to one mole. All right. So we have the molar mass now. That's going to be our conversion factor. What are we going to put over one? Um, one mole. What's the number in the question itself? Three. 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 So the three goes in. So that's like the second time in a row we've had that issue. The number in the question is what's going to get put over one. All right? We need to realize that. Three moles over one. We have moles on top. What do we put on the bottom of the next one? Moles. Moles. What number goes with moles? Somebody said this earlier. One. One. All right, so now we have the moles opposite so they can cancel. What's going to go on top if we're looking for grams? Um, 101.96. 1. 1. 0, 1. So, so the moles cancel. It's going to be three times 101.96. 305.88. Grams. It's getting a little easier. Are we okay with this? Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to give you guys a head start for the next one and see if you can uh, do it before me. I didn't give you the chemical formula for water. What is it? H2O. H2O. Very good. High hydrogen monoxide. High hydrogen monoxide. Okay. So how many moles of water? 360 grams. As soon as you see the word grams, what do you have to figure out about H2O? You're making a big buzz there, Aiden. Yes, that would be you. No, that's not me. Everybody get the molar mass of water. People put their mics on mute unless they're talking. I'm hearing a lot of background noise. grams per mole. Awesome. All right. So the number that's actually in the question is 360 grams. Somebody unmute their mic and tell me when I'm going to put that over. One. One is very good. All right. Stephanie, I have grams on top. What do I put on the bottom of the next one? Grams. Grams. All right. Aiden, unmute your mic and tell me what number goes with grams in this problem. Is Aiden still here? Yeah. Okay. Aiden, unmute and tell me what number goes with grams in this. Oh. Not, I said a number. One. Look at your molar mass. Oh, what? 18? 18 goes on the bottom. <laughs> I'm smart. Because whatever's on top has to be on bottom. So since grams are on top, the grams have to be on bottom. Andrea, welcome. I'm glad you can make it. Now, is grams is equal to one mole? So what's going to go on the top here? Mole. All right. Um, Jacob, I don't know if your mic is working, but if it is, can you tell me what I do to these two numbers? Jacob, are you still here? All right, I don't know if his mic's working, so. On him. Huh? On him. Yell at him very loudly. We're going to divide here 360 
divided by 18 because 18 is on the bottom this time. The other numbers were on the top. Now we're looking at the bottom. So 360 divided by 18. Um, who's going to tell me what the answer is? It's 20. Isn't it 20? It sounds like it would be. Okay. <laughs> so 20 moles. How many people think they've got this idea now? Um, Andrea, we are on day, what did we decide, day six? Five. Day five? Okay, day five. This is the, um, practicing conversion. All right, so do we feel like we're pretty okay with this worksheet? Should we move forward? I stopped the recorder.